Hey there, it's Danielle Burnock from DanielleBurnock.com. Love yourself from Survive to Thrive, that lady on the internet who loves you. I want to talk to you today about choice, that you have a choice in about five ways for you to take ownership of your choice. Because we have a tendency to think that we don't have a choice when we do. I have talked before about something I call a superpower. And I learned that from Viktor Frankl, who had been in a concentration camp, and he learned that people can take everything from us but our power of how to respond. That's a choice. That's a choice. And when we're going through life and things happen to us, people say things to us, one of two things takes place. We react or we respond. And I want to encourage you, if you have a choice of which one of those you do. Maybe not immediately, because we have things in us that cause a reaction and we'll have what people call a knee-jerk reaction and you'll react before you even had a chance to think. That happens. But still, the, the beautiful thing is, if you find that in your life, which I'm pretty sure is probably in everyone's life in some way, you can do something about it. You have a choice about that. You can identify, well, when that happens, I always do that. Well, do you wanna always do that? Pause and take ownership of that choice. Do I wanna always do that? And if you do, well, you don't have to do anything. And if you're like, no, I don't wanna always do that. Well, then you can do something about it. You can teach yourself how to respond instead of react. See, reacting comes without thinking. And the certain amount of that we cannot control. I mean, if someone jumps at you and you, you know, to scare you and you, ah, you know, I mean, certain amount of reaction is just life. But there is a lot of reaction in our life that we relegate to we don't have a choice when we actually do. You have a choice. You have a choice about what's going on in the world, how you want to respond to that. If someone talks to you about some political thing or some other thing going on or the time of the year or anything, you have a choice on how to respond. You know, you might feel getting angry, but then you can pause, take a deep breath. <sighs> Calm yourself down and then choose how to respond. Maybe you need to pull away and think about it and come back later. Maybe you need to bite your tongue and not say anything. Maybe it's time you need to speak up in a respectful way. Lots of different options. But see, it's all about the options because you have a choice. You have a choice. So I want you to see that. Your power of choice. It is a powerful thing. No matter what is going on in your life, you have a choice. Even Viktor Frankl knew that. And he was in a concentration camp. And they took everything away from him and killed everybody. But still he saw he had a choice. So you have a choice no matter how much you feel trapped, no matter how powerless you might feel. I'm here to remind you and to open your eyes. Do you have a choice? I grew up feeling powerless because I had very, very authoritarian parents. I grew up in a time when it was very authoritarian around me and children were to be seen and not heard, shut up and do what you're told. And I wasn't raised to make choices. I raised my kids to learn how to make choices. Not perfectly, but better than I had. So we grow, we change. But you have a choice and you can choose to engage your chooser. You can Practice it. You can do stuff with it so that you get better at it. And so I'm going to give you a link so you can read, so you can get it in your eyeballs and you can think about it more than me just saying it once. Five ways for you to take ownership of your choice. Because if you will own your choice, you can direct the direction that your life is going to go in. Because choice is powerful. It's so powerful that God honors your choice. He wants you to, to have that choice. All the way from the beginning in the Garden of Eden, when he created humanity, he put two trees in the middle, the tree of life, the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. He gave us a choice from the beginning. And God loves you. 
And he wants you to choose him. But see, he wants you to choose him because love that is forced is not love at all. Choice, it's important. And I want you to own your choice because you matter and because you will just discover things that will blow you away in a wonderful, beautiful way. So I dare you to take ownership of your choice and click on the link and read about five ways to take ownership of your choice. Until next time, I love you.